Scorching summer heat is here. I'm your Twin Falls neighborhood reporter, Lorian Nettleton, here at City Park. And while most of us are looking for ways to stay cool, homelessness advocates in the Magic Valley are already thinking about how to keep warm next winter. I know it's the farthest thing from people's mind because it's still several months off and it's 100 degrees out. As hot as it is, Twin Falls Warming Center Director Randy Wastradowski is thinking about the coming winter. For us to commit to being here again and, and again, allowing us to be able to do everything we want to do, um, we need to have at least 35 to 40,000 um, by October 1st. Randy is operations manager for the Valley House Homeless Shelter, and he said that the need for assistance doesn't seem to go up in the summer heat, although they do go through more bottles of water. And there are a lot of places that people can go in during the day, um, especially the, the heat of the day to get cool, the mall, the library, you know, as long as they're not, you're not disrupting anything. Um, so it's a little bit different. Randy is also the director of the Twin Falls Warming Shelter. In its first year, the warming shelter saw 100 different visitors stop through with 930 visits. People looking to get in from the cold during 86 of the coldest winter nights last year. Not only does it keep people warm, the biggest thing is the disposition of these people when they come in. A lot of them were literally hopeless and on their last strand of hope, once they get a good night's sleep, a little bit of food, and just, just that knowledge of, hey, you know what, maybe it's not so bad. The current fundraising campaign is online, and Randy says if there's enough community support, they'll be able to continue the program for this next winter. Um, really, we're looking for, you know, 200 people to donate $100 would go a long way. We'll direct you to the Warming Center's fundraising efforts from our website, IdahoNews6.com. Reporting in Twin Falls, I'm your neighborhood reporter, Lorian Nettleton, Idaho News 6.